Right. Today, Ivana and I are on the hunt for some salgados, which is a very common snack here in Brazil. It seems like there are dozens and dozens of varieties, and sometimes it feels like they're on sale on every single street corner here in Sao Paulo. So to be clear, we have tried some before. Yes. Although we certainly have not tried all of them because there are a lot. Many, many. So come join us on our Salgado Discovery Tour. Ooh, yum, yum. And to be honest, we don't even have a specific restaurant or boteco in mind because I think if we wander, we'll find some good ones. I think so. So let's wander in search of Salgados. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, nice street here with really mature trees super massive trees nice street anyway we've been walking for i don't know two minutes and we found maybe a good option here it's called millennial restaurant let's see what salgados we can find let's see what they have, let's see what they have at least yeah to the bank Salgados. Okay. Take care of your camera. It's danger here. Sure. In the neighborhood. Yes. Take care. Thank you. Obrigado. Okay, nice. Uh, nice guy. This is Ponte Queijo. How will you get you? Uh, Hola. Uh, Ponte This one. Oh. This one? Ponte Queijo. Mini. Mini. Oh, mini, mini, mini. See, 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 see. Careful gas. Careful gas. This one? This is a de calabresa or de frango. Aí tem a de queijo, de carne, de calabresa. Okay. Good. Okay. Obrigado. Se vocês quiserem tomar um refrigerante, só pegar ali, tá bom? Bebidas? Bebidas there. Isso, isso. Sim. Obrigado. Okay, let's go, Ivana. Okay, first two. We know this one is pan de queijo. This one, we don't really know. Almost looks like a sausage roll. Good. All right, being the gentleman that I am, I'm letting the lovely Ivana eat first. <laughs> oh, the queijo. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's like a cheese puff. Cheese puff. Yeah. Oh, sounds like cheese. Pan de queijo means cheese ball, literally. Pan de queijo. Pan is bread, no? Yes, it means cheese bread. Cheese bread, right. yes. Cheese bread. Brazilian cheese bread. Mm. This is good. And usually we've seen the minis more than this one. This is a big one. Mm. But traditionally very good in mm. Brazil. Safe option. Very good. So cheesy. Look at this inside. Oh. So good looking. There's a way they get the cheese in the bread. Yeah, I think they mix it and also, I think they use uh, tapioca flour, yes, yes. mandioca, which makes this like a little bit bouncy. There's a texture to a pong de queijo mm -hmm. that's very good. Yeah, like... Like a sponge, but sponge sounds bad. <laughs> Not spongy, but bouncy. Bouncy, more than sponge. Very good. Very, very good. cheesy. Very good. It's nice and kind of crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, it's like... That bounciness. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very juicy. I love it. Mm. It's like bang. a puff, but bouncy puff. Would you say moito bang? Mm. Moito bang. <laughs> moito bang. Five stars. Oh, same for Estrellas. Okay, now we've also got one more here, mm -hmm. which we don't know what it is actually. <laughs> now, typically mm -hmm. in Brazil, you don't put your fingers on the food. Mm -hmm. You gotta try to use the finger wrap. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say this is like a sausage roll. This is my guess. Yeah, well, it looks like a pizza pocket. A pizza pocket. Mm -hmm. What is it? Look at this. It's like a bread. Very good. It goes very good with cold beer. Because <laughs> it's salty mm -hmm. meat. I think sausage. Sausage. Calabresa. Calabresa. Si. Uh, nice snack. And just the right size. Sort of not a full meal, but enough to Put something in your stomach. Mm. Very, Very good. good. All right, there you have it, guys. 
Tell you what, that Fong de Queijo was very good. Oh, your hat. Your hat. Don't Tom Brady. Don't Say, Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. But uh, I tell you what, the sausage roll was pretty good, but the Fong de Queijo was absolutely incredible. <laughs> Absolutely five stars, Pong de Queijo. I think Pong de Queijo is one of the most unique snacks we've ever had. Oh, There's yeah. nothing we've tried in the whole world that has that same bouncy, cheesy deliciousness. Yes, as only de in Brazil. Only. So during our Salgado video, we might have just had the best one on the first one. <laughs> I think so. But anyway, the hunt continues. Whoa, whoa. I'm sure we won't even be walking for more than three or four minutes before we find another shop uh, selling a bunch of Salgados. Okay, let's go. Over here, Ivana. Pastel. Dami. What's dami? I don't know. But pastel is a very good option for uh, salgados. Pastel dami. Okay, let's see what we can find here. No palmito? Oh, palmito was uh, palm heart. Si. You like that one. They have bacalhau, which is the codfish. Fish? I might go for um, Portuguesa. Portuguesa? Mozzarella, prosciutto, tomatoes, and ovos. What's ovos? Uh, egg, egg. Let's see, okay. Uh, one Portuguesa. Por favor. Palmito. Obrigado. Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Introducing pastel, which is very Asian inspired. You can see the outside looks so Asian. It's yeah. like a wonton almost. Wonton, yes, you're right. And actually, the whole restaurant is very. Uh, Japanese inspired. So let's eat and drink. Let's see. So Ivana got palmito. Palmito, which wow. is palm heart. Uh, I didn't know plants had hearts, but this is a real thing that is the because heart of a palm tree. Is it right? Is inside. Yes. The heart, heart of a palm tree. Palm heart. Look at this palmito and cheese, I think. Can you see? Mm. Actually, it's oh. so good. Yeah. Actually, it's so good. Can I see your inside? This is my inside. Ooh. Now, I will say this. The top half of the pastel is empty. Yeah. I think it's normal style. All the fillings went down All the to fillings the bottom. went down. I should have almost massaged them up before I bit into it. <laughs> but the outside is still delicious. But really good. Mm. Very crispy, very flaky as well. Really good. It's, it's, kind of flaky. it's really delicious. The pastry is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's soft and delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really good. The palmito is interesting because it's kind of like bamboo stew. But it's kind of sour. Mm -hmm. It's sour. I think palm heart is usually pickled. Mine is uh, mine is cheese and onion and egg. Portuguesa. Portuguesa. Mm -hmm. uh, really good. I just said the pong de queijo might be the best one. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe pastel is the one to beat. I can actually like pong de queijo better. Mm. Pong de queijo. No, mm. pastel is really good. Mine. mine is nice, but it's got like um, Ooh. it's got some stuff in there. Egg, Yo, pastel is absolutely five star food. Calabresa. Yeah. It is five star this food. This one is good. And this restaurant, this filling is quite thin. Some restaurants or some places get really thick filling. But for the price, oh my I think God. it's okay. Yours is better, Ivana. Good. This is the best thing I've had today. <laughs> this is six stars. This is so good. The palm heart is interesting, no? Mmm. The palm heart is so good because it's got a weird crunch to it, like a wet crunch. It's kind of sour, right? And it's pickled, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Can I can I keep yours? Oh, good bite. Good bite. Mm. 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 M
good biting Ivana. <laughs> <laughs> So how so I tell you what, I think pastel is my new favorite. What? Pick it, pastel or congee kajal. No, it's not one or the other, it's both. It's always both. I gotta say congee kajal. It's very unique. Yeah. Oh, is that even uh, olive there? Oh my gosh, a whole olive in there. <laughs> Dude, six stars. What? Six stars. This is very good food. I could eat this every day. Palm heart pastel. <laughs> well, all of them. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Ivana and I just realized they gave us ketchup and mustard. Mm. Is it right? <laughs> ketchup yeah. and mustard? Did you guys put ketchup and mustard on your pasta? I guess so. Ketchup and mustard with a palm heart? No, I think I would like um, hot sauce better. Yeah, spicy. Hot sauce is better. Same. Yeah. I tell you what, guys. Absolutely. Six star pastel. Pastel de meat. Don't miss it. And Ivana says we can go right next door or more like two doors down to continue the Salgados hunt. So here we are. Now you guys might be new with this sort of restaurant. This is a very Brazilian thing. We've never seen this. You press the button in order to enter to get your uh, number and barcode. And then when you order food, they'll charge this and then you just use this to pay. <laughs> and you actually cannot get out without sliding yes. this back into the machine and letting yeah, you out that way. Make sure you paid for it. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of a slick way of doing things. And, uh, oh, they got more than a few Salgados. Almost like a bakery here. This is normally a bakery style restaurant. Bakery and slash. Salgado slash yeah. restaurant. Yes. Slash barcode pay. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's eat. Hola. Salgados. What's this one? Um, one? one? Dois. What do you think it is? Good question. This one. Dois. Sing. Okay. Thirty-five. Okay. Obrigado. So. No idea what I just ordered. Looks like a breakfast sausage and a little tiny empanada. Not sure. Ivana and I will share. <laughs> Alright Ivana. I think I know I know what this is. I'm not sure about this one. This yeah, might same. be Bolin Bolinho? Bolinho? Bolinho. 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 Yeah, uh, maybe this fish. Might be, this might be a fish thing. Bolinho. I don't know what's inside. And this might be risoles. Risoles. Bite and find out, Ivana. Okay, let's try this let's one. Let's begin first. the investigative research part of our video. Fish. No, good. Cheers, Saudi. It's kind of spicy. What is it? Mm. Pretty good, but I don't know what it is. Mm. Tastes like falafel. The outside, yeah. it's been fried. The outside is crispy, mm. the inside is soft. It's like falafel, I think this huh? is kibe. I think this is kibe. What's kibe? I think it was inspired by the Middle Eastern immigrant who came here. Is it right? Yeah. Because it tastes kind of like wheat. Wheat kind of thing. Yo, it's pretty good, whatever it is. The texture is just right. The outside it's crispy, and inside is mush. Mm hmm. Look, it's spicy. Mm hmm. Is there any meat? No idea what it is. I think it's five stars, though. Hmm. Pretty yummy, right? Mm hmm. Sleep or sleep? Sleep or sleep? Hmm. It's, it's, it's like um, waffle. Wheat, no? Yeah. No idea. 
It's like grainy. Grainy. It is a bit like wheat, yes. A bit mm. like um Coliva. Fried Coliva. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one up. We've got this little thing, which is a very familiar shape. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a pizza pocket or an empanada. The classic half moon snack. Saoji Saoji. What's inside? That's good. The flavor is very good. This one's very good. Mmm. Mmm. Ham. The texture is almost like cocina. Yes. But I think the shape, this shape is like the risotto shape. It's not the cocina shape. Cocina is like a tear teardrop. Mm -hmm. This one is risotto, I think. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me tell you, mm -hmm. this thing is amazing. It's ham and cheese. Oh. It's ham and cheese. People are looking, what are you doing? <laughs> I know. Someone teach these gringos how to eat. Yo, this one is really good. Yeah, it's very good. What's the dough on the outside? What'd you call that dough? It's like... It's just flour. Just flour. Or potato? Maybe potatoes in it. Mm -hmm. Ham and cheese. Mm -hmm. Very good. Again, five stars. Mm -hmm. Yo. This video was Yvonne's idea. Let me tell you. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Some good salgados. <laughs> mm. Turtle bomb. Dosing hands. Dose. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ah, uh, dun dun dun. Over here. Go. Siga means go. Got it. All right, everybody. The Salgados hunt continues. All right. Back at Estadong Bar and Lunches. You guys probably remember this place from previous videos because Ivana and I have learned to really trust the food here. It seems to be consistently delicious. And actually a bunch of you guys recommended the Salgados from here. Especially this one with the chicken bone coming right at the top. It looks kosher creme. Looks interesting. Maybe we'll get kosher cream. Cochinha. Uh, and bolinha de bacalhau. Sí. One, one, one. Sí. Okay, good. Hola, bon dia. Kosher cream. Un. Cochinha de pernil. Un. Bolinha de bacalhau. Por favor. Obrigado. Very good. Come on. Obrigado. Obrigado. Okay. Uh, Anakin. Por favor. Obrigado. Okay, let's eat. So, kosha creme, which looks very interesting, and I love the chicken bone coming right at the top. Uh, looks like a deep fried chicken leg. But there's more to it than that. This one is going to be for the lovely Ivana. This is a bolinha de bacalhau, which I think means codfish, codfish ball. Ball, yeah. And then this one, to be clear, we've had many times before. This is one of the first foods we tried in all of Brazil because cozinha. highly recommended. Now, is it cozinha oui. or is it cozinha? Cozinha, cozinha. One of those cozinha. words means kitchen. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. So you would either make a cozinha in the cozinha or you would make a cozinha in the cozinha. I've forgotten which one's which. To my gringo ears, they sound very similar. But anyway, Ivana, okay. without further ado, go for it. Which Maybe you can start with the bacalhau. Really? This one is more for you. Okay. You guys know I'm still learning the ways of the seafood delicacies. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Yeah, it smells good. And you've got some green uh, stuff on it, and you guys can see packed full of 
bacalhau, which is codfish, which is a very common food in Portuguese as well as Brazilian uh, food. Obrigado. Obrigado. Salgados and beer, what could be better than that? It's not too fishy. I, yeah, I think, think it's um, green onions and I have no idea. <laughs> mm, I think you can actually put some oil on it. A lot of that chili oil, you might like it better with oh. this uh, spicy chili oil, which is and we should buy one of really these. good. Yeah, we should they buy like a jar sale. of this. Yeah. This would actually be a good gift if we were leaving Brazil to bring to someone else. Bring them a good Brazilian chili oil. It's yeah. very yummy. That looks yummy, Ivana. Oh, Very that looks now? yummy. Yeah, that looks yummy. It's good. I, I really like it. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. Try it. Okay, let me try. It's not too fishy. I'm gonna level up my taste buds and go for fish. I'll put oil. With some spicy. Bolinha da bacalhau. And again, use the napkin to protect the hands. <laughs> or protect the food from the hands. <laughs> Very good, no? Very oh, good. see? And the fish is like, what do you call it? It's this like, is, very is it good. like floss? No. Not fish floss. Mm -hmm. But it's very fine. Yeah, it's almost like it's been ground up. Yeah. And I don't know what else it's is in there. It's so good with the chili oil. Let me tell you something. Five stars. This is really good. Yeah. I think so. Okay, leave the light. Last bite for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try this one. No. Looks like a chicken leg. Look at this. Have the bones as uh -huh. well. Also, this is the only one that came with a fork and knife. Oh yeah, you're right. So, um, just go for it. <laughs> it's got a middle maybe. Ooh. Oh, oh, there is a chicken. There is like a real chicken, chicken leg in there. Yeah. Okay, good good cut. I've got a little bit of a cross section here. Okay. Chicken bone, um, chicken, and then I guess this is the sort cream? of pastry. Cream. Coxa? Cosa. 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 I think the X is like a sha. So, uh, um, looks good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's very good. Really? Mm. It's almost like, um, you know if you have cream soup, cream of mushroom, cream of broccoli? Really? It's almost like that cream... Cream soup in a... In a, in a drumstick. <laughs> in a drumstick. It's like a, it's like a wow. drumstick soup. Uh, the texture is amazing. Very soft? It's soft and delicious. And with the spicy, it's going to be very good. <laughs> good. Mm. 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 <laughs> I hate to sound like a broken record, but five stars. Wow. Five stars. Very good food. Okay, let me try it. Wow, you. that's really, really good. Look at this. You go ahead for the cochinha. Ooh, okay, okay. Which, by the way, usually we get cochinha frango, which is chicken inside. This one is cochinha pernil. Oh, really? Do you guys remember the greatest sandwich in the world, pernil? This might be uh, something very special. So this is the teardrop kind of shape. Is the famous cochinha. Cochinha. Right. Cochinha. Right. Shape. Because, like because it's so good, it'll bring you to tears. It'll make you cry. Mm. And I think it's right to eat the tip first. I think you eat it point up. Or it might be point down. There is a right way to eat it. Maybe, maybe you hold it from the point and you eat the top. Unsure. Let us know in the comments. Mm. Now, same kind of batter, which is this... Mm -hmm sort of mashed taters, sort of batter, really nice texture. Mm -hmm. And inside pernil, I think you're still in the batter. Yeah. The pernil is buried in the, the, the teardrop. I think it's just flour actually. Just flour prepared in a way that's so creamy, it's almost like mashed taters. Mm -hmm. Has that taters texture, even though it's just yeah, so it's uh, really, good. really, really nice. What a lovely setting here. Good. There you go. So as you guys know, pernil is the pork, really fresh pork. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. Mm. Nice, right? With the onions in there, very flavorful, very uh, satisfying. I think this is my favorite so far. No. Mm -hmm. You're saying it's better than pan de queijo? Better than palmito pastel? Yes. 
And this is my favorite so far. Pony wow. is very good as well. Wow. But I think this is... Really? You gotta let me try. If that's the new leader, you gotta let me try. I have one more. Good, right? Mm. Oh, it looks good. Oh my gosh, it looks good. Meat and pastry and then fried and they they just fry it just nice where the outside is kind of crispy but the inside is still soft yeah it's right okay okay mm. trying not to drop it <laughs> okay, okay, okay. oh boy oh my gosh mm -hmm. oh my gosh it's good very good, no? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite so far? This one, six stars. What? Um, this is the best one here. Yeah, right? The kosher creme is also really yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. This is really, really good too. All right. But the vanilla is amazing. I still think pong de queijo, best one. <laughs> really? The texture is so good. Okay. Or the palmito. Pastel, palmito pastel. Pastel, or they're also good. For me, cocina. They're also Number good. one so far. But hey, it's not over yet. We've got one more place to go, and then we've tried, I don't know, 15, yeah. so got <laughs> 12 or something. So let's finish up and let's go. Let's go. Uh, everything here? Yeah, I'm sure. Good. Oh, good idea. You wanna buying a jar of the uh, chili okay. oil? Yeah, yeah. It's not too much. 76. 76. Mais uma dessa. Mais uma. 76. Capiche. Ok, obrigado. Obrigado. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, I tell you what. Big shout out to Esta Dong Bar and Lanches. Because Ivana and I have come here many times. And literally everything we've eaten here five stars so the search continues for Sao Paulo's best salgados which sounds like a song Sao Paulo's best salgados <laughs> por favor yeah. and obrigados okay the search continues uh, let's go okie dokie yet another uh, wait a second got it one of these type of restaurants where you get your card and you pay by virtue of electronic plastic. What's your idea here, Ivana? Pregora. Aqui. This one. Okay, good. Uh, SVA. You want the carne? SVA de Por favor. Give it. Um. Okay. Obrigado. Thanks. Scan. Oh, pretty clever. Bebidas. Shopee. Shopee, no, só tem long neck. Original. Só tem long neck. Long neck. Heineken. Heineken. Um. You want? No. Um Heineken. I forgot about that. They don't call it beer bottle, they call it long neck. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Obrigado. Obrigado. We managed to order? Sure. Right here at the bar, no problem. Okay, this one looks like what we had before. Yeah. Remember the mini? Yeah, but this is a bit different. Maybe the has uh, like a Lebanese influence. This one? Yeah. Interesting. And also, they both have Lebanese influence. So, as Fiha and Kibe both have Lebanese influence from the Lebanese influence. community in Sao Paulo. Yes. Interesting. But it's also famous. I'm hungry. So, I'm let's hungry. try. I will use my hand napkin. Can I try the SVS? Can I just bite it like that? Yes. Let's see. <laughs> see. <laughs> I'll try this. How is it? Oh, look at the inside. What is it like? Let me have a bite. Pretty good. Could use some spicy. Oh. The pimento we bought. <laughs> we bring our own jar of pimento. <laughs> it's a bit much, right? <laughs> uh, not bad though. It's a more. It's like a bready. It's very bready. Yeah, it's like very bready, but the bread is light. Uh -huh. It's like um. 
It's not too heavy. Yeah. Bad. Very good. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Meat bread. Meat bread. Yeah. Meat pie. Meat pie. Yeah, but the meat is um, it's not dry. It just needs a little bit. Mm, Okay. Like the manageable. Oh yeah. Go ahead, you want it. Okay, this is a kibe. So the kibe, I noticed the salgados in Brazil, they have their own kind of like unique shape. So like cocinha is the teardrop, teardrop shape. Yeah. Uh, the risolas is like the uh, half moon shape. Uh huh. And a kibe is like this. What kind of shape is that? Diamond. Like kind of like diamond shape. Yeah. So let's try this one. Mm. Diamond cylinder. Smells pretty strong, pretty oniony. Is the whole thing made of meat? Oh, it's like mm. that. Mm -hmm. Similar to the other one. It's all meat and it's fried where the outside is kind of crispy, but it's all the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's no batter on the outside. It's all the same thing. Yeah. Kind of cool. All the same thing. Just like a meatball, I think. Like a grainy meatball. So this small one that we tried before, I don't think it was TV. I really was um, croquette. Croquette. Yeah, this is keeping. And this seems sort of Middle Eastern. Yeah. It feels that way. It looks yeah. that way. It's like, I don't know if you can see all the greens. Uh huh. You can taste it. Kind of like nutty too. Interesting. Nutty, grainy, meaty. It's kind of like a. And then it's all packed into meatball tripe. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Very grainy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Uh, this is sort of unique to me. I haven't it's tasted inside. many things like this. Um, tastes like grains. Grain meatball. Wheat. Wheat, wheat ball. Wheat meatball. Wheat meat. With meat. It has mm. meat in it. With cheese inside. And cheese. There's cheese inside. Like a cheese ball inside. It's pretty good. Mm. Interesting. The cheese inside. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Not bad. Mm, let me try again. It's pretty good. Like, uh, the cheese makes it a lot better. Something new. Mm. I'm undecided. Mm -hmm. And the last one. This we have one what is called empada. It's like a little present. Take the lid off and show the inside. Watch this. It's like a pot. It's like a little Ooh. pot. <laughs> Cool, right? With camarón. It's like a little pie and camarón is shrimp. Uh, yeah, I think it's a pie. Like shrimp pie. Crazy. This could be very good. A lot of the shrimp like... in Brazil is very good. Mm. It's good, right? Oh, oh, oh. Pot. Yeah, this oh. might be the winner. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like a. The crust is like empanada. Ooh, that's hot. Like a Mexican empanada or Argentinian empanada. I tell you empanada. what, these salgados mm -hmm. all around Sao Paulo, very unique. Mm -hmm. Especially pong de queijo, never seen anything like that. Yeah. The palm heart pastel mm -hmm. is very unique. Obviously, yeah. cochinha and the, the koshu creme. Mm -hmm. Especially these two also unique because Middle Eastern inspired. I have a question. If you're a Brazilian living abroad, let me know what is the food you miss most mm. about Brazil. It might be right. some salgados because they're very unique. Yeah, I think so. I think I would miss uh, on the Kejo the most if I was Brazilian because it's just so unique. You cannot find it anywhere else in the world. Totally uncomparable. Cocinha. Incomparable. Cocinha as well. But I feel like cocinha is easier to make. Maybe, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> what would be your favorite salgados? I think it has to be... Pong de Kejo. Cocinha and Pong de Kejo. They're those two are the most popular too, I think, in Brazil. Same. Same, and I would also add in palm heart pastel. Palm heart pastel. Very good. Yeah, pastel is okay. I'm mm. not a big fan of pastel, but it's good. Palm heart is very good. Yeah. I like that sour, cheesy goodness. Yeah. And pada is good too. All good. Mm -hmm. All good. Mm -hmm. All good. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. Stay tuned for lots more. Brazil stuff, mm -hmm. football, food, and fashion. No, but uh, adventure at least. <laughs> Ciao, obrigado. Ciao, obrigado.